Well, just recently I updated my phone from this, the original iPhone SE, which was a great phone that had a pretty poor camera, to this, the iPhone 11, which is a brilliant all-round phone, but it's also got a really, really good camera. And it got me thinking, really, about whether in a lot of circumstances I could replace my full DSLR kit with just this and uh, a remote some description to fire it and do self-takes. And that would take me an awful lot of weight and gear to carry around if I'm trying to be mobile and cover a lot of ground. So I've been doing some tests on the quality of the, the pictures that the phone takes and also looking at ways that I can operate it remotely so that I can do self-takes. So let's, let's have a look at some of the methods I've come up with. Well, the first thing I needed to do was work out a way of actually holding the camera to do a selfie. And I wanted to use bits of stuff that I had lying around really. It was going to be small, neat, and allow me to carry it around without really noticing it when I want to travel really light. So I started off with a small storm pole that I had in the garage. And as long as it gets you up to about chest height when you're kneeling down with a fish, perfectly adequate. This one's got a screw thread on the bottom, which makes it even better if the ground's a bit hard. And then into that, I'm going to put one of these Gardner camera adapters, and that just takes us from the 3 8 bank stick thread to the smaller camera thread. Next part's optional, but I have one lying around, and uh, it made this whole setup a bit more uh, adjustable, really, and that's one of these small rig angle adjusters and again that just screws in to there and that allows me to go from landscape mode like that I can just undo the screw and go down to portrait mode um, and most of the time if you're doing selfies you want it in landscape but uh, it's just a bit of an extra adjustment I've got there in case I want it and then final part good old eBay came up with one of these cheap plastic uh, camera adapters about three quid and that's just got a metal thread on the bottom screws into there you can line that up so it's straight and there we go that's the basic setup now with your phone that will slot in now ideally we'd use the cameras on the back these are 24 megapixels on the iphone 11 really good quality you've also got the benefit of the flash there but what we do lose is being able to see the screen and be able to line up a shot so I think for most of the time I'm going to be using the 12 megapixel camera which is on the on the front not as high a resolution but still quite a good camera and then that just mounts straight in dead dead easy you can adjust that to get it straight and we're ready to go now the next thing I needed to do was find a way of actually taking the picture on the phone and I'm not actually holding it obviously that's a little bit more tricky and I came up with three different ways of doing it some of them are more reliable and easier to use than others. Um, so let's have a look at the three different ways of doing it and you can take your pick out of which one you prefer. So the first one I'm going to show you about actually firing the camera and taking a shot is using the built-in Siri voice activation, which to be honest is a bit ropey and um, not the best way of doing it. But I'll show it to you anyway in case it's useful for you. So we need to go into the settings on the phone, turn on the Siri voice activation then go into accessibility and turn on voice control as well. And then it will do, hopefully, do what we uh, want it to do. So let's open the camera. Make sure it's reversed so it's pointing uh, on the front, to, using the front camera and pointing at me. And then, hey Siri. Hey Siri, turn volume down. And there we go, we've taken a picture. And this relies on a bit of a quirk of the iPhones, and that's one of the ways to take a picture is by turning the volume down, hitting the volume down button. So by asking Siri to do that for you, it automatically takes a picture. It's not brilliantly reliable. That uh, time was, was really good, but it takes a few attempts sometimes. So it's not one I'd recommend if you've got a lively fish on the bank, but I'll show it to you just in case it comes in useful and you haven't got any other way of doing it. So the next way of taking a picture, relies on the same idea really turning the volume down but this time I'm going to use the supplied headphones that you get with your iPhone now again these are only short obviously and what you're going to need if you want to use this technique is an extension lead which is a lightning to light lightning connector probably about three meters long now again I found a better way of doing it um, without having to go to the expense of buying that cable but I'll show you this way of doing it for completeness so once again all I'm going to do is hit the camera icon 
and reverse it so I've got the front facing camera and then all I need to do to take a picture is to hit the volume down button. Volume up will work on this way as well. So if you want to buy yourself roughly a three meter lightning to lightning extension cable, you can connect your headphones to it. You can also then use your phones and listen to some music away from your phone if that's uh, something you need to do as well. But even so, it's quite a good technique. Um, but it's going to knack your headphones. They're going to get wet and slimy eventually, so not ideal. You're going to have to buy an extra cable as well. And I think there's a better way of doing it. It's a bit cheaper as well. So to the third and final way of taking a picture, remotely on your iPhone, and that's using one of these little dongles. This cost me about three quid on eBay, and it's basically um, a Bluetooth uh, remote for the, for the phone uh, that fires the camera. So first off, go into Bluetooth, make sure you've got Bluetooth turned on, turn on your little dongle, and make sure the two are paired up. So I've done that. Then we just need to open the camera, there we go again reverse it so it's facing me and then press the button take a picture so for about three pound problem solved now this actually comes in a little bag um, and i generally keep it in that again just so it stays a little bit more waterproof when i'm trying to do catch pictures and um, brilliant pictures on demand with your iphone remotely perfect for doing self takes Okay, so let's put it all together and actually take a shot. And I've brought my stunt dummy fish, Mark the Pike, along today um, just to make things a little bit safer and a little bit less stressful for me. So first off, we need to turn on the phone and then set the face ID off. I've put the face track on as well, which helps it uh, as long as you hold the fish close to you. Make sure the camera app is turned on and then reverse it so it's on the, the front facing camera. I've already got the Bluetooth switched on, so and that's linked to my little push button. And then what I tend to do is hold that in my left hand and then position the fish. Now you've got a 24 millimeter angle lens on the iPhone, which is really wide, which is nice and helpful so you can get in close, see the screen, see what's going on, get it lined up, and then just press the button, bang, you've got a picture. Try and hold the fish into you, don't push it out too far because uh, that will make sure both you and the fish are in focus. It makes for a much nicer picture. Try a few different angles, shoot really quickly with this. And there we go. And the beauty of the iPhone is that um, most of the processing of the image is taken care in, of in the phone. So unlike a DSLR, where I sometimes have to mess around in Lightroom for quite a while to get exactly what I want, you get some really nice shots, certainly usable for social media and stuff like that. Even magazines straight out of the camera. So quite easy uh, once you know how to do your own self takes. Worth learning to do. Worth a few quid for one of these little dongles to make life so much easier. And away you go. So I hope that was interesting and useful to you. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Cheers for now.